JB, and we're heading to Xavier University in Cincinnati to try the very first pizza ATM in America. What? what? Oh, I'm so excited to try this Ooh, pizza so out. Got it our looks pizza so right here. good. The machine's so cool. It's a lot bigger than I expected. Yeah, it was a really, really big machine. I thought it was really, going to be like really a smaller like, vending machine like I've seen online in different huge. countries. There's, you know, not not that size. This thing it looks is like I can massive. live inside of it. Yeah, there's definitely like a freezer, like a cooler fridge thing inside where they keep all their toppings. And it I was guess really they, neat. The whole outside was covered in like Cincinnati city yeah, stuff. Yeah, it had really cool neat. graphics on it. Yeah. I guess that they pre-make all the pizzas in there every single day. They put in fresh toppings and they put all the toppings already on the pizzas. And then you can go through the menu and you can select what kind of pizza you want. There's cheese, there's pepperoni. It's Supreme. And Supreme. They didn't have Supreme pizza Yeah, they didn't we were have there, any Supreme though. pizza today. But yeah, you go through the thing, you check it out. I think it's like, what, $8, $9, $10? $9, $9 bucks for the Supreme. Not yeah, bad at all. Not bad at all. Not bad. Yep. And when you're done, you push pay. You can, And I think you have to pay with your debit card or mm, else if you you're a student here, you have a student card. No cash at all. No so cash. So that's why it's a pizza ATM. Yep. Oh, <laughs> man. But it was so, so fast. And it smells really it good. So it good only takes too. three minutes to cook your pizza. Um, it doesn't come cut. They give you a knife inside this box to cut it. What else is kind of cool? All the ingredients are vegetarian. That's um, really, really I'm, cool. I'm assuming not the pepperoni or the meat, but all the toppings, the sauce, and everything is vegetarian. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is really cool. You ready yeah. for this? Yep, I'm ready. All right. Ooh. There's a little knife right yeah, here. Yeah, it's just taped onto the box. <laughs> because it's artisan style pizza, and you're supposed to just tear it. And not cut it, but since it's the both of us in a car, in a car, you want to hold this up yep, here? Yeah, I'll hold it. And I'll try to cut us some slices here. I was gonna say you can probably tear it in half and then cut it. Oh, that cuts easier than I thought it yeah, would. Yeah, that cuts really cuts pretty. With this little easy. plastic knife. This pizza's kind of old right That's now. Okay. At this point, it's probably about 20 minutes old because we had to do some shooting. All right, you want to take that piece there? Yeah. It smells really. It seems like the kind of pizza you get at a mall. Yeah. The big floppy pizzas. It does. Um, or like school pizza, the crust feels the crust a lot like school pizza. isn't all the way cooked, you know? It kind of seems like the crust could be cooked yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, it is kind of doughy. It looks like there's some seasoning on it, though. All right, let's give it a shot. Ready? Three, two, one, Yay, cheers. Yay, pizza! Mmm. It does taste like the malt pizza. Mm hmm With a thicker crust. Mm. It's mm -hmm. pretty good, though. There's a lot of cheese on it. There's not a lot of sauce. The sauce I mean, is like normal pizza sauce. I like a saucy pizza. I do like a saucy pizza. Could have a bit more sauce, but it's really good. The sauce mm -hmm. tastes really good. It has a really good flavor. Yeah. Really, I'm, yeah, the flavor's, the flavor's really good. There's, I think there's some basil on here. Mm-hmm. Mmm. The crust is pretty good, even though it's a thicker crust. It's pretty decent. It's decent a nice, pizza. airy crust. Um, Really, they could get away with a thinner crust. They could use less dough and stretch this out mm -hmm. more. Because it's kind of a thick crust. It looks like they're going for that thin, artisan-style, like, floppy pizza. Floppy. Yeah. It yeah. looks really good, though. It, or it is tastes really, really good, though. though. In case you didn't know, today is National Pizza Party Day. Pizza Party Day, so go have a pizza party. Mm, we'll have that pizza party, guys. All right, we're going to bash this pizza. Fast pizza forward. bashing time. I guess you can get the pizza not cooked too. You can get it cooked, and then she said you can also get it not cooked. You, can, you take can take it, it back home. home with you and cook it yourself. Mm -hmm. and then you can get a little bit crispier crust on this. Ooh, if this had a crispy crust, butter? yeah, if this had a crispy crust, what was just mm, that'd be. Mm -hmm. Again, that's the only thing really slacking is the crust. But yeah. still, it, I think it's better than the McDonald's crust. I mean, it doesn't have too little sauce. Mm -mm. We'll say that it's not dry. It's just not. It just can have a saucy. little. A little bit more, or else you know, like I, I like a little dip. Ooh, little, dipping's little nice. dippy McDipperson. Ooh, that was some good pizza. Oh, uh, yeah. You better hurry up and eat that before uh -uh, I take this it. Is my pizza. You are not taking my pizza. <laughs> yeah. For an $8 cheese pizza in a vending machine, holy crap, if that was good. I went to school here or live oh, anywhere here around here, I'd be here all the time. This is better than most uh, frozen pizzas that you can uh -huh. get. This was better than the McDonald's pizza that we had last week. Yeah, it's also was... a couple dollars more, but it's totally yeah, it's worth $8. a couple dollars. It's like $9 or $10 for a uh, 
Supreme and pepperoni pizza, and you can get it 24-7 if you're a student here. Yeah, that's oh, really man, awesome. Oh, man, you guys are lucky. But if you're not a student here, it is open to the public. I don't know. What, I think it closes like, like 8 o'clock yeah, on the like weekdays. That. So, if you want to try out the very first pizza ATM ever, totally, totally come down to do Cincinnati it. to Xavier University and give it a shot. And if you like this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe for new videos every week. How we'll many see, videos do we do a we week? We do three videos well, a week, three videos a week. So, we'll see you guys next week. Peace. Bye. Eating this pizza is really, really good. Eating this pizza is really, really good. On a scale of one to ten wiggly fingers, how would you rate this pizza ATM? I would give it ten, ten wiggly, wiggly fingers. fingers. Wiggle fingers. Ah.